on week 11 and this week offers us the potential game of the year that you cannot miss. Hey everyone and welcome back to another video on Mana Sports Talk. I'm your host Mana and in this video I'm doing my week 11 NFL picks for the 2021 NFL season and we're going to be starting off with the game of the year possibly um, and it's going to be right here in week 11 325 on Fox. It's going to be the Dallas Cowboys 7-2 taking on the Kansas City Chiefs 6-4 in Kansas City at Arrowhead Stadium 325 on Fox. It's going to be uh, the matchup of arguably the best quarterbacks in football right now, Dak Prescott and Patrick Mahomes, and it should be a real fun offensive game. As we take a look at the two starting quarterbacks here, it's the first meeting uh, between Patrick Mahomes and Dak Prescott as you take a look at their two stats, compare them side by side. Pretty similar, but Dak has been playing better than Patrick uh, uh, this season and as a whole because Dak is 20 and 5 touchdown to interception. Mahomes is 25 to 10 touchdown to interception and Dak has 70% completion and also leads the league in quarterback rating compared to Mahomes which is you know just above average um, which would be a, normally what a good quarterback does. But the two keys for the quarterbacks Patrick Mahomes has to pick up right where he left off against Oakland Raiders, where he threw for over 400 yards and five touchdowns. He wants to continue to keep going to those deep shots there. Uh, it was kind of clicking later on in that Oakland game, and he definitely wants to get back to that against the Cowboys defense. I feel that that young secondary um, can be exposed with a couple of those deep shots, especially if, I, if he can be accurate um, with those deep bombs. He has to be accurate. Um, on those passes and take the other underneath when it's available. He did a good job of that um, throughout the Oakland game last week. And, you know, his QBR has dropped way down, but taking in last week's performance, you're probably going to see the Patrick Mahomes of old. I mean, that's what you'd hope you'd see if you're a Chiefs fan. Um, and the Mahomes wasn't even brought down for a sack last week, which is what you want to see if you're a Chiefs fan again this week. Um, and yeah, you, you see these two stats, you know, really, really great quarterbacks. And the Chiefs have Orlando Brown and Joe Tooney on that left side. Um, we'll see how the Cowboys will match up uh, trying to get pat pressure on Mahomes. And the Chiefs will really need to continue their drives. They cannot afford to have three and outs against Dak Prescott in this Cowboys offense. And for Dak, he has to take advantage of this Chiefs defense. This Chiefs defense has improved, but... Um, this is the Cowboys offense. They're, they're the best in the NFL right now and he has to take advantage of it. This Chiefs secondary um, isn't anything too impressive. Um, and Amari Cooper is out with COVID unfortunately for the Cowboys but Michael Gallup is there. CD Lamb is the new number one. Cedric Wilson comes in. Cedric is really really good. And even with Amari, they still have the weapons to do it. I think Cedric Wilson is a great quarterback. And Dak's been playing like an MVP. And if he can do that, no turnovers, he'll give his team a great chance to win. And the Cowboys have a tendency to go for it on fourth down. And, you know, Mike McCarthy loves to do that on fourth and short. They have to be consistent on there. They cannot afford to be 0-3, 0-4 like they were in the Denver game. Um, and they have to be able to run the ball effectively when they need to. The Chiefs' run defense, you know, is, is pretty decent, but Ezekiel Elliott definitely will have to contribute on his own. And Dak also has to go deep. I think this Chiefs' defense can be exposed deep. Both of these defenses can. He has to be accurate on those deep shots. And, you know, it, if Dak Prescott's on the money, you look at because the Cowboys will probably win it at that point. And now... This Cowboys defense, they're led by two young superstars um, on the on the defense for the Cowboys. Big role in how this game is going to go. The rookie of the year potentially, defensive rookie of the year potential, Micah Parsons has been an outstanding um, this season for the Dallas Cowboys with his speed and his he can definitely get a lot of pressure on Mahomes, especially if he comes off that right side. He has a great couple of moves there to get to the quarterback fast. That can cause a lot of problems because he has six sacks on the season with 58 tackles. And then Trevon Diggs, who arguably could be the best cornerback in football right now, 
um, second best or whatever, top five, whatever you could say. He leads the league with eight interceptions and has two return for touchdowns. And Patrick Mahomes this week said how good Trevon Diggs has been. And he, he's going to have to be careful when targeting Trevon because he can definitely have a knack of intercepting you. Something Mahomes has done 10 times this year, which is not what you see out of him. And he only allows a 53 quarterback rating when thrown. But those deep shots can could get Trevon Diggs. We'll see how he does against Tyreek. And Patrick will have to be smart when throwing against Trevon Diggs. And, you know, we'll see this matchup, chess match between the Cowboys attacking that right side of the Chiefs offensive line and the Chiefs trying to um, uh, attack the weaker side of that uh, Cowboys secondary. So it's a really interesting game going on. And then moving on to the other keys, Melvin Ingram to me is a really big key why this Chiefs defense has improved. Him going to the edge allowed Chris Jones to go back to his natural spot of defensive tackle where he plays so much better. And that's really improved that defensive line of the Chiefs where they're able to get pressure on Derek Carr later in that Raiders game and they're gonna have to get pressure on Dak fast and straight up the gut that's the only way uh, to really mess up this Cowboys offense and then I think Travis Kelsey can really really destroy this Cowboys defense you have Micah Parsons is going to be primarily rushing the quarterback but you know you have a, a linebacking core of the Cowboys that is still young and I think he can use his really strong strength and his great route running to take an advantage of that but for my score prediction, it's just a gut feeling of mine here in the game of the year. I think the Chiefs take it 34-31 to 31 over the Cowboys, and they sneak by them in a shootout where I think this home field is going to play a big role. I think the Cowboys, I think the Chiefs could win on a potentially game-winning field goal um, to totally get back on track. I think it should be really back-and-forth offense again by both teams. I think both defenses are going to have trouble stopping Dak Prescott and Patrick Mahomes. I think Patrick gets the ball last, and he goes down and gets that game-winning field goal. He delivers on some key deep shots. I think that Chiefs defense gets some important stops. And unfortunately, unfortunately for the Cowboys, they lose another tight one. Um, and yeah, I think that's really how the game is going to go. And now we're going to move on to a couple of the other good games. Cardinals versus Seahawks. I have the Cardinals winning that 24-20. to They win a close one because it's in Seattle. Russell Wilson should be playing much better. Um, and that Cardinals team is still kind of injured. I think that defense really primarily gets that win for Arizona. Now to the Sunday night game. I have the Chargers winning by one point over the Steelers in LA. I think the Chargers get back on track with a win. Uh, the Steelers have Big Ben back and ready after COVID last week. Um, I think the Steelers' defense is solid, but they won't be able to contain Justin Herbert. And I think likewise goes for the Chargers' defense as well. I think the Chargers take it close. And then Colts versus Bills. I have the Colts coming up short against the Buffalo Bills in Buffalo. We are the rest of the Week 11 games. Bucks take it easy on Monday night against the Giants. Browns rip the Lions. Dolphins take care of the Jets pretty easily. The Saints win a tight one over Philly. The Niners easy over the Jags. Washington wins a close one against Carolina in the rematch of uh, Cam Newton versus Ron Rivera. And the Packers could take care of the Vikings. The Titans run over the Texans. And the Bengals squeak by the Raiders. So, hope you guys enjoyed my Week 11 predictions. Please down, hit the like, subscribe, enable notifications, comment in the comment section who you think is going to win between the Chiefs and Cowboys, and I hope to see you in the next video.